Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I have a lot of cameras in front of me and these are all Sony cameras and wouldn't it be cool if we could kind of take all of these and combine it into one camera that had all the features? Well, Sony just did that. This is the all new Sony ZV-E1 camera. This is a full frame compact camera and this is honestly built for creators with creators in mind and I'm actually shocked at how much this small camera can actually do. So for this video we're gonna start off by talking about all the new and exciting features and the second part of this video is just gonna be a normal vlog. I could break it into two but let's just make it one video. The Sony ZV-E1 Let's talk about it. So not only is this the world's smallest and lightest full frame interchangeable lens camera, but it also has a dedicated AI processing unit, which is dedicated to artificial intelligence processing, also including deep learning. Now we have seen this before. It was announced in the Sony a7R5, which I actually just got, but now we also have it in the Sony ZV-E1. There's also a new feature for cinematic vlogging. It's basically one touch and it will automatically give you all of these different options for how to make that cinematic look without really having to change too many settings. There are different options that obviously you can choose, but it makes it really, really easy to, you know, get that high quality cinematic look with just the touch of a button. I just turned on the Cinevlog and put on the fresh mode, and I have to say, this looks great. Oh, love it. We have this new feature with AI-based dynamic active mode stabilization with framing stabilizer, and we also have AI-based auto framing for movies. Personally, when I saw this was announced, I was like, that is really, really cool. I'm filming a lot myself. I'm constantly moving around. And now with this new AI framing option, it's basically like someone is behind the camera kind of moving it, but it uses AI to kind of keep you in the frame, obviously within certain parameters. There's also another feature, which is the multiple face recognition. You do have to be filming in a certain setting. I believe in the intelligent mode for this to work, but basically with this setting is say I am filming myself and someone comes into frame. If they are not on the same plane, as me and if I'm shooting at you know 2.8 it's gonna appear that one of us might be a little blurry but now if it's focusing on me and someone else comes into frame and this is on it will know that another person is there it will adjust the depth of field accordingly so that no one is blurry and that everyone is in focus not new to the ZV line but kind of new to this higher quality of a camera is the product showcase this is a feature that I loved in the previous ZV cameras it's really great because with Sony the eye autofocus is so good that it's always focusing on your face so you always have to like hide your face to get it to focus but now with this feature if you hit product showcase it will know that you want to be showcasing a product and it will not focus on your face which I think is great Another thing I'm excited about is we now have in-camera time-lapse. I love time-lapses and usually if you're doing the interval shooting, it will just do all pictures and then you have to edit it in post. But now we actually have the option where it will do everything in the camera and it will record it as a movie so that you have your time-lapse. What makes this exciting and especially different from the previous ZV cameras as well as the Sony a7S III and the a7R5 is we now have new audio features. This actually has an intelligent three capsule internal microphone and it also can use AI to kind of tell where you are in the frame if you're not in the frame if you're behind the camera this is a directional microphone where you can have it on auto or you can have it be front rear or just capturing all around you let's test it out so right now I'm gonna go walk to the side and I'm gonna go behind the camera and I'm gonna continue the video I'm gonna continue talking and hopefully the audio sounds good this is definitely a really cool feature because there's so many times that I forget to switch the direction especially when I have on an external microphone and it just sounds really bad because I forget this is a multi-interface shoe, so I can plug in an XLR or another microphone, or I have this little windscreen if I just wanna keep it simple and use the built-in microphone, I can do that as well. Oh, this also does come in white and black. If you don't like the white, that's okay, because it comes in black. Another feature that the ZV lineup has is the background defocus button. So it's just the press of a button, you're able to get this beautiful defocus kind of bokeh look, which I personally love. So for the AI-based framing, this is really, really cool. So the 
auto framing feature automatically centers, reposition, and crops the frame to kind of keep the subject in a prominent position, even though the camera is on a tripod. You are actually able to adjust the crop level and the speed as well. This can be controlled on the camera or in the app. So with the optical active mode image stabilization, this is gonna give you increased stabilization for movie shooting while walking. But with dynamic active mode, this is actually gonna give you 30% more effective stabilization than active mode. So if you want that gimbal-like stabilization, but without a gimbal, you now can use dynamic active mode. And of course we have the AI-based framing stabilization. This is kind of combining dynamic active mode with AI recognition. This recognizes a subject and its position, and then using the in-camera processing, the subject is cropped so that its position is kind of constant within the frame. And what I love now is that Sony is also working on making their cameras more accessible. So there are a lot more accessibility features that are built into this camera to make it a little bit easier so that more people are able to use their products. So for recording times, you're not gonna be able to get as long of recording times as you would with the a7S III. So here's kind of what that compares to. I'm not honestly gonna test this out, but I know my friend uh, Farouk, I phoned him. He will be doing extensive tests, so be sure to check out his video. Also, what I really like is how easy this touchscreen is to use. Um, it literally has so much stuff on display and you don't need to kind of constantly keep flipping the camera around to touch all the buttons. It also has the nice red record border around the screen as well as this lights up when you're recording. I do wish it had a full HDMI. This does only have a micro HDMI. It does have a headphone jack, an aux, USB-C, and room for one SD card. And this is the MPFZ100 battery, which is the standard battery basically for all the cameras that Sony's been coming out with. And much like Sony has been moving to, we have the options now to switch between camera, video, S and Q, easy buttons to click and really nice grip. Very smooth, a very smooth camera. I don't even think that's all the things this camera can do because there is so much, but let's go out and let's make a vlog, shall we? Or what are we gonna do? Actually, I have to go buy my sister a birthday present, so we should go do that in the rain. You guys ready to vlog? I think we're ready to vlog. I kind of want to try this in the intelligent mode instead of constantly changing um, the settings. So let's kind of test out intelligent mode, shall we? Another feature that I like is the soft skin effect. It kind of just gives you like a nice little glow. So right now it's off, but we can turn it on. So this is low, mid, and high, which is a lot. Uh, let's, uh, let's leave it on. Let's go shopping. I didn't think anybody would be here because it's Sunday and it's rainy. I was very wrong, very crowded. Okay, we made it. Aviator Nation is one of my sister's favorite stores. I have no idea what she has, but let's see if we can find her something. We've been doing some serious shopping and I've been trying to hurry, so I've been doing a bad job of filming, uh, but we got some good stuff. We hit up Aviator Nation, we hit up Yuri, we hit up Google Lemon. Got a lot of things for myself, which wasn't the goal, but I did it anyway. Remember when I had no intention of getting pizza and then I walked by the most incredible smell I've ever smelled in my entire life? Abbott's Neighborhood Pizzeria on Abbott Kitty. And I just beelined right into it and got two slices. What a crazy time shopping. I feel like I got some cute stuff. Um, I got my sister, well, let me show you what I got. I'll show you, I'll show you later. Well, maybe I'll show you now, I don't know. But this is what I got her for her birthday. I got her this Aviator Nation sweatshirt. I don't know if she has it, she might have it. Um, and then I also got myself some Lululemon pants. And then I got us matching, um, I don't know, is it Viore? I don't actually know, Viore? I don't know, but their pants and clothes are the softest that I've ever felt in my entire life. So I bought us um, a matching little outfit. I didn't realize that these pizza slices were absolutely massive. So I will have pizza for tomorrow. Let's really use the features of this camera and do a little product showcase, shall we? You guys ready for this? What do you think of that? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put it on the animal feature and give my dog a little cheese because you gotta pay the cheese tax. Okay, you want this? There you go, buddy. It's so cool, so I have it on the animal and it's basically tracking his eye because it knows that, you know, he's a dog. Oh, you want more? 
but I'm also hungry. This has been such a wild day. So it is the next day. Today's officially my sister's birthday, March 20th. And I have been running errands all day long. Also been trying to film for this video. And we officially have dinner plans, which is coming up very, very soon. So I'm gonna take you guys along for the dinner, for the cake, for the party, for whatever happens. Let's go to dinner. Oh, it's almost time for cake. I'm so excited. All right, so the restaurant that we're gonna go to is usually super crowded. Um, it is a Monday and the weather is crappy, but I came early just to put my name in because they don't take reservations. And they were like, okay, we can seat you now. I'm like, okay, well, bad news. I'm the only one here. So now we're gonna wait for the party. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the marina. This is such a cool location. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, we've made it. Hi, Jess. Hi. Oh my gosh, how's your day? This is my first vlog with the new, with the new camera with two people in it. It's just me and Maddie, but happy birthday. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I, I had a day today. I saw you earlier and then I, I didn't see you again. Did I see you again? I saw you on my camera that you were in my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, was say, I think I was just in your house. Dude, okay, so I put on the intelligent mode so that it automatically adjusts uh, the aperture so that it knows when multiple people are in frame. That's cool. I I'm think. trying to look at your screen, see, see what it does. Oh, yeah, look, see? Yeah. What are you excited about most? About what? Right now? Oh, um, the food that we're about to enjoy and all of the cake. Like, Sean got me a cake. You got me a cake. Oh my, you're like, do we need ice cream? I'm like, absolutely not. Okay, well, next up, you're gonna see us this pasta. <laughs> Here. Little. Little. So, not little. And then Jenna got this incredible cake. We had a, a small accident coming over. What did you do? Well, so this started, this got squished, the Twix fell off. We're gonna have to put it back for your photo. That looks like that's what it's supposed to do though. No. You know? To be fair, I had dog and cake and like one of us was coming out alive. This looks like it's and it was him. Here, I just stuck that there. I don't think I was supposed to go there. No. That's there now. It's there. It's there, there now. now. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday to you. Wow, you guys, that was so great. Here, we're gonna do a COVID clap. Oh. oh. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Yay! <laughs> They're good. Oh my god. You put that. Put your mouth on that. I can't. I want to, but. Oh, he's loving it. Is that your ice cream? <gasps> Yum. party is over and I'm gonna kind of wrap up my thoughts on not only just the camera but kind of my experience and just what I think so far about using this we have just scratched the surface of what this camera can do and when this camera is actually being announced it's gonna be happening at camera camp where there's gonna be a whole bunch of creators we're all gonna be hanging out and we're all going to most likely be making a lot more content so stay tuned for that but let's talk about this for a second I'm actually filming this right now with the kit lens that you can also purchase it with of course you can buy the body separately or you can get this 28 to 60 kit lens it's small it's compact and I actually think it looks pretty good so here are some of my overall thoughts I cannot believe all the features that they put into this small camera it's full frame it has AI uh, some of my personal favorite features were definitely the auto framing I'm excited to kind of test that out a little bit more but I was really surprised by the microphone the built-in three capsule directional mic was actually really, really great. And for the majority of the video, I didn't even have on an external microphone, except I do right now to test that out. But I was really shocked. So, you know, not having a microphone on top obviously saves you a lot of space, makes it more compact, and the audio was really, really good. Another feature that I love about this camera is the face memory, where you are able to register a face, and if you wanted it to only focus on that person, the AI, and knows the face and it will only focus on that person. So overall, I think this camera is incredible. I think it's great for all levels. It's definitely a little bit confusing if you are a little bit new to cameras. Um, it actually, I feel like has too many features, which I don't see how that's a bad thing, but I was even overwhelmed. But anyway, I really do like it. I can't wait to test it out more. Let me know in the comments what you think. So this was just my first impressions of the all new Sony ZV-E1. Be sure to check a link in the description if you wanna check it out and subscribe because we have some more videos coming soon. Bye.